Hey, it's another great day in Cota de Casa, Orange County, California. It's February 5th. I'm outside our clubhouse. And here we have a whole sea of begonias. We've got pink ones here. We've got red ones. And uh, even white ones. So begonias, they come from a family of plants called Begoniaceae. And there's over 2,000 different species of begonia. And there's eight different classifications. And ours here is called a wax or a fibrous rooted begonia. So most begonias, you have to keep them in the shade or inside your house. But these waxy guys, you can keep them outside in the full sun. It's a hybrid cultivar. It's called Begonia Seferflorens cultorum. Also called a bedding begonia. He comes to us from Argentina, Brazil, Paraguay, and Uruguay. And these guys are uh, upright. They grow about six to 18 inches high and about 12 inches wide. And they like to form in small clumps like we have here. And they bloom in this uh, bright red color, little blooming red color flowers. And we got pink here, of course. And I also showed you the white flowers. Wow, and they like to grow in moist, but well-drained soil. And down here, it's uh, pretty wet. It's pretty moist. And these guys seem to be doing pretty good. So uh, it's an herbaceous, fleshy plant with fleshy stems. Here's one that broke off down here. But the stems will get kind of leggy and long. And sometimes if you want to keep a nice, tighter plant with more flowers, you can cut off these longer guys as they grow and it'll form a tighter little clump of uh, flower. And the leaves here, they are thick, they're rather large, they're fleshy, and they're waxy. And these are called bronze wax begonias, as opposed to, I guess, the non-brands variety. And the bronze can be out in the sunshine and withstand the impact of the heat and the direct sun a little better than the other ones. Okay, and try to keep the water off the leaves here because um, you might get some mildew or even fungus rot. This guy here might be rotting a little bit. So these are on an irrigation system, so the leaves get pretty wet. But at home, I think it's better if you have a drip irrigation or even hand water these guys. Here's a pretty white one here. So the flowers I mentioned, they're red, pink, or white. Sometimes they're even violet. Sometimes they're even mixed on the same plant. Okay, and the red ones, we got names like Ball Red, Brandy, Scarletta, a few other names. And the pink ones, we call Brandy, which is a clear pink. And Gin, find a pink guy, here we go. And Gin, which is like a bright rose pink. And they typically flower from spring through fall. But ours here, they flower probably all year long. And they're monoecious, and that means the male and the female flowers are on the same plant. And the females, you identify the females because they have a little seed capsule underneath the leaves, the base of the flower, I mean. All right, so it's kind of hard to tell. And the males, of course, here's a male, always has all these stamen, anther, pollen, sticking up here. Look at that. Wow. And to propagate this guy, you grow it from seeds or divide divisions down at the base here are stem or root cuttings and they are edible but they're sour they kind of taste like a citrus but some people eat them and they're safe in small amounts but if you eat a lot of it they could be a little toxic because they have uh, oxalic acid in their tissues let's take a look at another white one here 
profile. So if I were to choose, I think uh, the best thing is to have a mixture of these in your flower bed. But like I said, you keep them outside in the uh, full sun, but they also grow in a little bit of the shade and they also grow inside your house if you keep it by a windowsill. All right, these are the little uh, wax begonias here out in Cota de Casa. So, hope you like that video. Thanks for watching. Bye.